Welcome back. You've heard of virtual reality, but what about mixed reality? It's a new interface that brings computer graphics and sound into the physical world, blurring the line between the real and the virtual. Sort of like what we do here every day, isn't it, Christy? <laughs> the stat is here to show us that vision of the future. Hi, Christy. Thanks for that statement. Well, where is the virtual uh, reality technology takes a user into a digital world that's almost real? Mixed reality brings the digital into our actual physical space. And researchers at the National University of Singapore have made significant inroads into the art of mixed reality, building books with 3D characters that move and talk as you turn the page. With this technology, you can uh, open up the, the pamphlet or brochure and you can see like the three-dimensional scene, you know, of where, where you're staying, you know, and as you can see the beach or whatever. And for example, let's say you're trying to choose a hotel, let's say you're choosing a hotel, and instead of just seeing the brochure, you know, the hotels always put a, the, just the best picture of the suite or something. So what you can do is you can turn the page, you can see the whole hotel on the book, and then you can fly inside and see what it looks like inside. The Malaysian Tourism Board has contracted the research team to create a next-generation brochure, complete with pop-up talking tour guides. The research is funded by the Singapore Armed Forces, which plans to use the technology for another purpose, to give their soldiers an edge in the battlefield. Mixed reality, for example, could overlay mission-critical information onto a soldier's headset display. And that could be a killer app to capture the public's imagination in a way virtual reality has struggled to do. You just mentioned there, Chrissy, the, the armed forces. What other applications could you see this, uh, this being? Useful. Obviously in the entertainment sector, children's yeah. books, instead of reading Alice in Wonderland, you can actually have Alice in Wonderland pop Alice. up. <laughs> That's right. You can just put on the glasses, see her pop up and have a tea party on your desk. Um, also in the way we present the news. Um, I asked Dr. Adrian Chuck this question, how did, will it change my business? And he said, imagine capturing an event not only with one camera but multiple cameras and recreating an event not only on a two-dimensional TV screen but actually on your desk. So do doing away with a conventional story as we know it now, you That's can recreate right. the actual And actually scene. feel the presence of Jiang Zemin, not on the screen, but actually on your desk, and you can walk around and even manipulate him looking, upside, looking at him upside down. And real quickly, how far away is this? Um, well, according to him, the researchers say one to two years it could okay. become a commercial reality. I think it's a little bit bullish, but they say the prototypes are already out there. Good. We'll talk again a bit later. Chris Lestat, our tech correspondent there.